<gasps> oh my god. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. <laughs> Hold on. I want to see if she gets mad. Hold on. Hey, Forrest. I know it's a good track, but we need to move on. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come into you. What? Excuse me? Here we freaking go. It does say it can be done in five hours, and I mean, challenge accepted. So this is a game that is set in the year 1987. Absolutely killer year, if you know what I'm talking about. <gasps> oh my god. Um... Yes! You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know... How? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I... I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But, I mean... Does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Oh my god, what do I do first? Uh, let's do the checks. Alright. Fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. <laughs> let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Ooh! Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. Hold on. I want to see if she gets mad. Hold on. Hey, Forrest. I know it's a good track, but we need to move on. Oh my god. I love it. Okay. Stop. Oh, there's, there's a dialogue. Okay. Are you serious? I won't do it. I hate what I've become. Okay, everybody. One, two, or three. I hate what I've become resonates, you know, is resonates with Forrest. Number three? Okay, let's do this. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Yeah, I saw a couple. I saw a bunch for two. Let's do this one. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh shit, that's our cue. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. What are you calling to? Guess that scream. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No. Look, I found a body and I need your help. Huh? 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Ooh, okay. 
Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. What? Excuse me? Hold on, ready? Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all This right? could be a 911 call, right? We want cheese we dusted want pretzels. Cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Yeah, cut him yeah, off. Cut him off. We do, in fact, have an actual killer out in the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Chat, that's you! That's you guys! Okay, let's put on something good for chat. Mmm. Let's do the word. Smooth. Okay, you guys ready? This one's for you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Peggy, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh God, it's actually happening. Where are you now? A jazz run? Bad night to go out for a run? Come on, Forrest, come on. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Well, I'm not going back out there. I... Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh, look, I don't know anything about cars. Oh. No. I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Oh my god, do you guys know how to hotwire a car? Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll oh, call Jesus. you back when I find it. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. In a minute, Peggy. Doesn't it look like a car? Like a oh. 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 Peggy, I'll be a moment. I also had some huevos rancheros. Who would make a magazine like this? And where can I subscribe? Step one, use a screwdriver as a key. If that fails, step two, remove the steering column cover. Step three, check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. If there is a four before a three and a number seven in the number, blue and red- oh god, jeez. So strip the purple wire and then brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and brush and- <gasps> Yo! Maybe, 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 maybe. It was the third one. It was the third one. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, 
You get in for free. We did it. Just keep driving. I'm glad you're safe, but lay off the jazz. I'm just going to say just keep driving. Just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, baby. They're so casual. They are. Yeah, never lay off the jazz. We did it, Forrest. We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. All right. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie left me in charge. I am 911. Or you haven't heard, have you? I am 911 sounds like something I would say if I was ever in a situation like this. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? Okay, we have Peggy. a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. This must be it. Okay. Oh my God, that's so bright. Um. Okay, so now we gotta try calling people. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Where, where, where is Maurice hiding right now? Wait. Oh my God. Did we? Do we know where Maurice is hiding right now? So, so the killer. Uh. Probably the editor's office. No, because if you if he's up in the editor's office and then he can he can run. He can run to the stairs, right? Let's call the editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? The kitchen. The kit go to the kitchen. On second thought, let's dial in a the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Good plan, Peggy? Sure. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Can you fight him? Maybe play dead? Can you lock him in a room? Okay, I think I'm gonna do option three. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside he'd be able to get out just as soon as wait 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 no 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 i got it there's no lock on the inside of that room only the outside you can't break out if we can get him in there and i lock him in we can catch the son of a gun exactly i'm gonna do my best impersonation of maurice i think that'll draw the killer in what's your mr russell impression I think I gave that mask freak to slip. 
What a great plan this is, Pearl! Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. It's pretty Ooh, good, call actually. Coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am the... Uh, good question. Uh, the desk he can see under it, the cabinet might take him a while to get there. Hide inside the secret archive? No way. Oh my god, we might kill Maurice. F's in chat for Maurice, maybe. Hey, whistling man, jackass. Oh my god. Listen to your old pal, Russell Forrest, and shut up. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. running out and what was i supposed to do peggy i'm starting to think that you're the murder the game auto saves all the time every time there's like the record on screen y'all don't have to worry and hey if it didn't save we could go back and kill maurice a second time <laughs> <clears throat> We should have known, chat. Yeah, we should have known. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure are, caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze listening to your show, looking up at the stars, and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. Ooh. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight, to take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. Oh. Molly can't whistle. Oh no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life, not the worst. Do you know the way out? Just run through the walls. I'm gonna say we'll get you out of this and then I think we need to find the maze, the, the map for the maze downstairs. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze Stop maze. playing with it. Eugene, <laughs> you're back on air. I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran, and I... I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad. Facing a tractor statue. Is that a crossroads? Facing the tractor statue. Gold hay bales on his right. We want to go to the left, right? Left. Left. Go left. Go backwards. Go backwards. Oh, God. Why didn't I just invite her over? I'm out. <sighs> and my bike's still here. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love you, Molly! That was tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she she's dead. Okay? Sit on it, is it gonna be all gooky and my butt is gonna get stuck and I'm and they're gonna they're, are they gonna eat my